Hello everyone, this is Ryan from Tangerine Music Labs. Welcome back to Factorio. Uh, we made a few updates to the last factory. Um, as you can see, now it's a double belt system uh, running in opposite directions. I tried to kind of be a purist and say that, oh, everything we'll ever need will be on one belt. But uh, unfortunately, there's just too much stuff in Bob's mods that I don't think it's really possible. Uh, just because, you know, one tile can only fit four items, and there's way more than that in the game, so... Uh, yeah, but I think I can get away with two, if, if as long as I, uh, play very carefully. So we'll see how that goes. Um, yep, here's our wood production area, and you probably notice that there's ores, uh, directly on the belt now, so... Uh, watching other videos, I've seen that uh, there's actually a lot more ore types than I uh, anticipated. So, uh, yes, I have a setup here where I'm feeding the um, ore lines directly on the belt and then smelting it within the circle. So, yeah, there'll be a lot of stuff and we'll see how it works out. Um, so the other thing is that uh, so now that we have uh, smart inserters, uh, I started setting up these um, buffer uh, flow pacing uh, regulator, whatever you want to call it. I I'm not sure what the official term is, but uh, the steel is a pretty good example. Um, so I have steel here, it's smelting, uh, but it's not smelting because we have a buffer here. I have it instruct to lay down the steel when there's more than 300. Here I have it to produce when there's less than 301. It's off by one just so that there's no um, more at more than or less than than and equal sign in this game yet. So I have to kind of space it out this way. So if you look at the signal on the right there, um, yeah, this thing is working pretty well. It's hovering around 300, 303, 304. It's not exact, but it's close enough. And then basically, uh, this will keep on laying down steel from this buffer as long as it's needed in the system. So, for example, I'm making these uh, electrical poles here, but it's not something I need all the time. So, uh, I had an issue where when it's producing these things, we'll have not enough steel, and when it is, uh, when it isn't, we'll have uh, too much. So, say if I take this away, and it'll start uh, picking up the steel, and over here, it'll be like, oh, uh, where'd all the steel go? Uh, yeah, so start producing again. And it basically uh, keep on doing it until it hits the 300 mark again. So yeah, it's nice. Um, it helps you sort of uh, manage sort of fluctuations and uh, productivity in the system. So uh, is there anything else? On show. No, that's about it. And yeah, it's not perfect, of course, but uh, it is pretty useful tool for what we're trying to do here. So we'll see how it goes. And okay, the next um, objective I wanted to do was to work on blue science. I think we need batteries for that, so. What is that thing? Is that wood? Yeah, I have it, uh, these things set up for pretty much every component, and we'll probably have to do that, uh, especially as we get further in the game and the, the um, belt gets very busy. Five one. 
Oh, I have this uh, thing just picking up random things just to keep the lines clean. And, uh, in theory, uh, we'll connect these up to robot networks later on so that we can, uh, uh, uh use all of them efficiently. But you can probably see here, uh, that, uh, yeah, so if I convert this to a, a requester chest and this to a provider chest, it uh, ties in with the robot logistics network really nicely because all we have to do is um, basically set it in the same uh, resource type and then it'll use everything that we have, even from these storage chests. So. Oh, I have science. Science was working a little while ago. I think it's an issue with the circuits. Oh, this thing is stealing it. Maybe we should limit it for now. This is just for later on, so. Okay, we'll get uh, science pack done. I think it'd be a good idea to get uh, oil, so I'll go down there and start pumping them. I mean, I guess I need wood, huh? Yeah, one thing, this, this mod is really weird because uh, you need wood to build electronic components, which is something Yeah, so you see, I can steal from these chests, and these things will start working again to kind of compensate for the fact that it doesn't have enough, so... And then it'll stop once it uh, reaches the, the 500 mark again. Oh no, what is... 2.5... What, what is that? What is that thing? This thing? No. What do you need for a basic? Do I need more of these things? There's just so much stuff in this uh, mod that... Uh... Resin? I don't know. Uh... That red looks like a wooden board, but... Hope it, they didn't change anything before. I don't remember having to do that. Uh, okay. Oh. Alright, it's done. Basic circuit boards. Well, we do have those somewhere in this jump pile. Something to do. Oh, sh oh shoot, wrong one. Uh, yeah, these ones. Need more resin. I don't have that stored, I should probably do that. Uh, it's the easiest place to do it. Just need 
is wood. Should be enough, hopefully. Okay, yeah, we're making some green signs now too, which is good. So kind of the goal for this uh, factory is to make the most efficient use of resources available and uh, because I'm using, because I don't really care about high reduction or speed, uh, we should theoretically be able to keep uh, pollution low enough so that uh, it doesn't really uh, it won't trigger the enemies or it won't have to expand that much so I feel like in a lot of um, let's plays people make these massive factories and then there's a lot of waste like they might mine this whole thing really quickly for example um, and then at the end of the game, you're kind of left with lots of things that you don't really need anymore. And so, I don't know, uh, this factory is kind of designed so that you uh, you acquire the resources as you need it, as opposed to, um, I don't really know what the difference between these pipes are, but... Uh, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, the kind of the idea of this factory is that you just, um, you inject resources into the system as it's needed, as opposed to having abundance um, all the time. So, we'll see. I mean, the gameplay, I mean, it's, it's similar to uh, the regular gameplay as well. I mean, the vanilla game, but... The only difference really is you you know you're gonna have bottlenecks and the bottlenecks will be here rather than somewhere else in the factory. So everything is kind of in one place. Which is um either fun or crazy depending on uh, how you look at it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, is it uh, interesting because I started doing this Let's Play as a way to promote the music I made for, uh, a music mod I made for this game, but, uh, yeah, I mean, people who play this game probably know that how addicting this is, and I started really getting into it, and thought, hey, maybe I can do something interesting with the gameplay as well, rather than, you know, just being a showcase of the music, so... All right, this should be like more than enough. Uh, more than enough oil. Ugh, these take forever. Now set up the power line while I'm waiting. 
So use it up. Okay. Yeah. So there's. Uh, did I say this already? Uh, but I saw more um, videos of people playing Bob's mods and. It gets really, really crazy later on. I mean, <laughs> there's gases, and then apparently there's lots of ore types that I haven't even seen yet, so I don't know, maybe I'll have to uh, expand the base further somewhere down the line. I don't know. I'm not quite sure if I might have to upgrade oh. upgrading to um, faster belts might be uh, what do you call might help with it a bit but um, Sorry, I'm a little distracted. Uh, uh, upgrading to faster belts might help with it, but uh, I'm a little worried that we won't simply won't be able to fit everything on a on a single belt or even two belts because there's just so much stuff in this game, you know. So, we'll see. Okay. So I want to kind of do the oil processing within the circle as well. Just have everything keep in one place. We'll give it a lot of space. I might even expand this thing because who knows how many things we need. Oh yeah, cutting the line like this is really bad for this type of factory because uh, things get stuck. Oh, I'm on a belt. Uh, it's like kind of this was your bloodstream. It's like kind of like heart, having a heart attack. You know, everything stops and then this thing, uh, you know, like here gets backed up and nothing can move and then. Basically, your blood flot stops flowing and then you're screwed and you're dead. <laughs> oh god, there's so much junk. Uh, alright. The nice thing is, if you know I have too much junk, I'll just drop it off in here. And then it'll stop uh, making stuff for a while. Until it's used up, and then when it's used up, it'll start again. Huh. Not doing too bad on research. Okay, hopefully this is enough room. Probably gonna have to expand again at some point. So, if, yeah, like if I 
theoretically, if I upgrade these uh, belts to faster ones, uh, it'll be able to hold uh, more things because uh, the rate at which these things put down the resources will not be as fast as how fast the thing is going, so it's a different kind of throughput, but uh, we'd be able to fit more uh, different types of resources in a smaller area, basically, if that makes any sense. I have way too many of these seedlings, but we need them for making wood. This is kind of tricky because it produces two items, and uh, one of them is like it produces part like itself. You get seedlings for uh, processing seedlings, so yeah, it's kind of a. We'll have to mess with this a little more. Uh, it'll be okay for now, I guess. Oh, what happened to the oil? Oh, I didn't finish it. Okay, so oil refinery. Need more steel, which I just got rid of. More resin. Resin. Should limit that just in case. Maybe I go all the way up just so it'll never ever get in the way. Okay. Size five, size twenty. Not quite sure what the differences between these are yet. I think one of it is better for gases or something like that. Uh, it doesn't really matter though because they're not. They're not going for super high um, speed. So, uh, where else? where's the storage tank? Yeah, I should do that. Green research is still slow because of the this thing. I have gears. Why is this thing stuck? Less than 201. Oh, I should be 200. There you go. Yeah, you have to uh, make sure the numbers are set in such a way where it'll always be true, if that makes sense. So, um, yeah, I, I kind of cut a corner and then set it to 250 just to get, um, take some iron off the belt, but yeah, no, it's working, okay. Let's 
So I'll start producing this until this hits the... Uh, Right, as soon as this thing comes around, then it's going to hit uh, 201 and this will stop. And... Okay, we'll see. Do have a oil refiner, so you can maybe... Do I... should I make more than one? Some green signs now, but I'll be. There might be some in this junk too. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so much junk. for now. It's only 30, right? So it should be pretty close. before uh, for making that whatever that 0 0.5 red wood looking thing is maybe I can find it in here oh this synthetic wood uh, what's wrong with regular wood I mean, do I need synthetic wood now? It's weird con how it switched. That wasn't the case before, I don't think. Huh. Oh, well, maybe I need to make some, I don't know. So, synthetic wood. Just use regular wood, even though it's possible before. on transport belt because I stole some. I should be careful about doing that. Uh, I, don't, I don't even know what all these things are. But this is gonna take a while so I'll just research whatever. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, we need a storage tank first. Good enough. We need some crude oil. Uh, maybe leave the space just in case we need it for something later. We fit three. Oh yeah. I mean, might as well because uh, whatever it's not using, it'll just stop and nothing really goes to waste and uh, oil stuff. Okay, so. Kind of like this. Hopefully I'll never have to do this again. Uh, so work, right? Okay, so... I'll just keep it symmetrical. Lots of space just in case. Hey, that worked out pretty well actually. Huh. Can't fit two uh, horizontally. Well, start a can. Let's see. Light oil. Alright, I'll see how that works. Sorry if the game is lagging a bit, uh, maybe it's just for me, hopefully it won't turn up in the video, but uh, yeah, I think I've been having some frame rate, each, frame rate issues due to the fact that there's just so many more stuff in this game now. This should be... oh, this is not plugged in. Makes sense.
Alright, so now these are filling up. Blue science. Alright, so we need batteries. Okay, steel we have enough. So that's fine. Uh, one. It's probably gonna be really complicated, let's we'll see. Uh, so we'll start with the battery first. Lead plate, which we do have, that's easy. Plastic bar and sulfuric acid, okay. To make a plastic bar, we need coal and petroleum gas, which is easy. I'll put a few more of these. Interesting. Uh, yeah, so whoever Bob is, uh, man, I don't I have no idea how he made all this stuff. It's like really like a almost like a new game almost. I mean, it's the same game, but it's just so much more additional content. Um, Maybe he had help, I don't know, but... Just the sheer amount of uh, things you can do in this mod is really crazy. Short on gear again, what's the issue? Well, so that it's hard to tell what's wrong with things because um, it takes time for all these things to settle in. So whatever it is, it's not the gear is being used up or not reaching. Uh. Alright, uh, it's, it's, it's okay. I don't really need the science right now, anyway. Uh, okay. So, plastics. Coal and petroleum gas. It's good because we kind of have an extra on the belt, anyway. Oh, where's that made in uh one of these things? Short on wood again, but I have wood, but I can't If I make these, will it Doesn't seem to help. Yeah, now that works. Uh, I think this a uh, that's a bug. Yeah. 
it assumes that you need synthetic wood for making these boards, even though there's two different types, so... Oh well, okay. At least I know what it is. Uh, okay. Plastic, I'm not sure how much I'll need, but... Let's make it all the way down here. It's part of the vine. You're gonna need this thing for a lot of things, so... I should make these stone pipes since I have so many of them. These have size of 20, so that's more volume, but does it mean the speed is slower or something like that? So it takes forever to make them. Just to be sure, this is this music playing right now is not the one that I made. Um, this is the default music, which I think is pretty good. Um, I'll let you know when uh, mine starts coming in. It is a little weird to like do these kinds of videos. With your own music playing while trying to do commentary, it's it's just, uh, hard to describe, but it, it kind of messes with your mind a bit because <laughs> it's kind of like, oh, you know, you kind of think back to what you're doing while making the music at the time, and then it's a little, it can be a little distracting. It doesn't happen with uh, other people's music. Like the ones right now, so it's no big deal, but Okay, okay, there we go. And just some coal. diving in there. <laughs> Says a little bit of everything, basically. Uh, okay. Come on. I really like regular inserters now. Like, I wish there was even a slower inserter that'll let me, um... Like, this is basically the slowest speed you can go at of, in terms of putting things down and picking things up. Uh, I know Bob's Mods has faster inserters, but I wish there were like slower ones. Um, 
I guess it's just particularly this type of factory, but... Uh, yeah, it'd be useful to be able to... Oh, extra inventory slots, that'd be nice. Um, that would, it'd be... Make, make my, um... Regulating efforts here a lot easier. Of course, the easiest thing to do is just count the number of things on the belt, but um, I think there's a mod for it, but it's not available for this version, so. I don't know, I think that might. At first, I was really interested in using it, but I'm not sure anymore, because I feel like this is a lot more challenging. And it's closer to what you might do in real life because, um, what do you call, you know, yeah, yeah, we're only human, we're not a god, we can't know what, you know, there's, there's no real life equivalent for knowing what's on a belt at any given time like this. So the only thing we can do is take samples, kind of like how we're doing here, and then sort of extrapolate, sort of hypothesis of what what might be on here and how we might be able to um, work with that. Uh, but anyway, yeah, kind of went off on a tangent. Yeah, we have good circuits now, so we should have... Yeah, uh, green science is good again. Yeah, this buffer system, I mean, it sounds like it's all mathy and stuff, but it's, it's really... Uh, there's a lot of intuition involved, we just like look on the belt and okay, I have too much of that, let's change the number by some amount and maybe that'll help. Uh, okay, okay, these are finally done. In and out, and then... We don't have long-handed filter inserters yet, so we'll have to do this manually for now. I mean, uh, underground for now. Is that a good idea to have it so close together? I don't know. Okay, I guess here is a good chance to show how I did this thing. It's basically a filter inserter going to the box, which this thing moves into this box and this thing puts it down. Put a little electrical pole here, uh, not only for the power, but also because um, it also helps us keep track of uh, hold on one I just want to check this out. oh maybe there's not what I need okay uh Yeah, can I do the next one? No. Uh, yeah, I'll show in a sec here. So we want to keep track of this box here, this box here. This uh, output inserter and then the production inserter should probably be. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, oh, yeah, and also the pole here. Because this uh, lets us keep track of uh, what the signal is. So like... 
this pole right here tells us on the right how many wood there is in these boxes combined. So yeah, it's pretty convenient. And then set this to plastic less than 101. Again, the one is there just so that um, if it gets exactly 100, then it stops. And that's not good because, uh, yeah, it just basically stops working. So you want to make sure that it's always true and always doing something. Okay, I think that's it. Just plug it in now. So what it's doing now is that it's making plastic, but it's not sending it to the belt yet because um, it needs to build up its buffer first. So this hits 100, then uh, wait, is that true? Oh, uh, probably should have put this further down the belt, uh, but I can fix this. Um, I'll just say the same thing. Plastic. It'll work only if there's more than 100. No, less than 100. Less than 101. <laughs> yeah, so easy to get this miss. All right, so when this hits 400, I mean 100, then it'll stop picking it up. I think. Uh, sorry, I'm just gonna sit here while. I'm See here it works. Oh, we're having some um, electricity issues. You see on the right, it's kind of wavering, so that might be messing with things as well. Okay, it's getting there. Okay, yeah. So it is picking it up. This thing is also putting it down, but uh, it's not picking up all of them, so it's laying some of them through. Okay, which is what we want. Uh, okay, next. We already have lead plate, we need sulfuric acid to make sulfuric acid. Okay, this is the same as before. We do have water here, which we pipe from all the way down there. Uh, I couldn't figure out how to get the pump thing to work, but uh, I think I know how to make it work now, but um, 
uh, too late. Yeah, <laughs> doesn't matter. It'd be good to get like a source of actual water. Okay, where do you want to make the... I think sulfuric acid is used for a bunch of things, so maybe we should make it up there. Especially since it's a liquid. I just have like a mini bus here of uh, liquids here. Seriously, might run out of room, even though I think, didn't think that would be possible. But uh, this thing need more of those component thingies. Oh, should probably get accumulators to fix our. Um, Power issue. Maybe I'll make some solar fields. Uh, oh, there's some. Yeah, I need that. <laughs> this has everything. Sulfuric acid. Just need. Oh, no, I'm still me. Where am I? No, I still have it. I have it here. Ugh, this is gonna get very messy already. Uh. here and then expand north later. Uh, we'll be making a lot just just so that um, we don't have to worry about it later. The nice thing about liquids is that if you don't use them then they don't um, they won't process if you don't use them so there won't really be any waste for the most part yeah, these are Oh wait, I need to make these sulfur first, and then into acid, so... Oh, actually this works out. This can 
kind of tricky. Oh, I can't because this thing's in the way. Mm -hmm. If I rotate it this way. You should never, um, never mix liquids because, uh, this game is actually realistic in the sense that uh, if you mix up liquids, they get stuck in the pipes, and, uh, you can have dirty pipes where, like, you'll have a petroleum in a water line, and you won't be able to get rid of, ugh, this is really ugly, but, oh well. I gave myself lots of room. I guess not. So, I want to get the. since these are pointing in opposite directions. <laughs> All right. 
it's doing its thing. We may put it in a... Let's do it so we can keep track. Alright, so batteries, acid, lead, sulfuric acid. hard to regulate that thing. Five hundred. It's actually creating a bigger buffer than we instructed it to, so we're getting a surplus. get the wood without Ugh, uh, that, that's too much too much thinking uh, it'll, it'll be fine I'll, I'll just come with that cut alright so we're using some iron which is actually good because um yeah, we had kind of a, too much of it on the boat anyway. <sighs> Should probably fix our power issues. I guess it fluctuates depending on what... Yeah, I have a lot of stuff turning on and off over there, so... Okay... Outer belt looks pretty good. It's fairly clean. Useful stuff on there. Uh, okay. So maybe we should just make our batteries here. Maybe I should put these on the outside, the plastics, I mean. Oh no, I already, yeah, it's too late, okay. I already set up the regulator on the inner belt, so I didn't, I didn't want to do it again. Uh, so let's just start making batteries, and that's made in the chemical thing. Chemical plant. Kind of need a lot of them. Oh. Uh, I don't know what this is, but let's do it. Uh, I think, remember batteries were pretty slow but also useful. Wish you could like break down items you don't need anymore into basic components. Sort of like recycling, reusing or whatever. Maybe there's a mod up there for that, I don't know. Let's make a lot. Uh, maybe three is enough. Uh, okay, batteries. Plastic, lead.
So if this works, this should help clean up this belt, but we'll still have enough production, in theory. I'll also regulate the batteries, it should come, it should really come right before the production area so that uh, I don't have to do that fix I did last time. Uh, okay. Slow and service for now. Maybe I should start making some already. Okay, so batteries. This, 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 this. this. Um, I'll say more than batteries, more than two hundred. Batteries less than two oh one and then copy no copy that instruction here. So there'll be a shortage of lead unless we Alright, so this thing's working to compensate. Okay. Good, good. I think it, uh, the system sort of works. Um, we'll see how far it can go. Uh, cause this, this mod is crazy. I mean, like, it worked well with the vanilla, but uh, compared to, uh, compared to the vanilla game, this, this is much, much more complex, so. I kind of want to see how well it holds up. Uh, I do like the way the belt looks though. So dirty. <laughs> okay, well, power is okay for some reason now. Um, We have batteries, that's one thing knocked out. Electronic circuit board and filter inserters. I have a feeling both of them are gonna really suck. <laughs> Wait, I can't even make electronic or whatever things. Uh, how do I get that? That's advanced. Okay, what am I missing? Chemical processing 2 and silicon processing. Jeez. Oh, and then I need electrolysis 2, okay. 
Which I'm working on anyway, oh. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, need to speed up. I mean, this is doing its thing, but... Oh, I'm running out of... running out of... I don't have enough red now. Not enough red because nine of gears. a shortage of gears. Uh, there's not much you can do if you just have like a straight up shortage, so... Steal some from here for now. And then stick it in here. Keep it going for a while. Alright, so we'll have to hold off on the electronic with the filter inserter I can already build, so fast inserter. Oh, this is not that bad at all. Because we already have the boards. Turn this off for some reason. I have a ton of them in here. Oh, it's because I have it after, not before. Okay. to use the red wire here. Connect this thing up and uh, what was it? It's less than 500. It should be 501 actually. I think it got stuck because it was 500. Yeah, there you go. Uh, okay, so. Sensors. And run out of these things real quick. Uh, let's look at the dumpster pile. It's actually the best place to take from because uh, it's just uh, waste being waiting to be recycled anyway. Uh, gears, nice. Science. I guess I'm just taking from the outer belt, so. Yeah, these are always full of iron because you're just so much waiting. Okay. Now the music has been pretty sparse. This game. My, my, the one that I made hasn't even come in yet. Or, yeah. This should 
get everything it needs. Oh, this is not that bad at all. Huh. have a stock of 500, yeah. Uh, what was next? Um, chemical processing 2. Yeah. Probably make another one of these uh, red ones. I removed it because I had a surplus at some point, but I think we need it now. Why do I have two albums here? Starting to run short on copper. Is it ever going to get to here? Yeah, well, this is like the ideal balance because um, you want it so that by the time it reaches the end of the belt it uses up everything not any more or any less but yeah when things change it I mean everything changes but okay uh, yeah that's basically how you make adjustments in this type of factory I think Ugh. Mount the drying. So we have this thing being made. Um, so we're just waiting on electronic. Maybe make a stockpile here while we're waiting. Something like that. Should really just take it from here. Oh well. Uh, yeah, had a 
and this thing, everything will fix itself eventually. Maybe. Sometimes. <laughs> I think it would probably just feed this directly into... Oh, uh, well, it would be... That would really limit the amount of... Blue science can do, so I don't know. Need more this thing, we need more copper. Here. So if we steal them, they should start firing up again, right? Yeah, there you go. Oh yeah, we're getting a lot now. It's gonna take forever though. Need enough to um, oh, there's the music. Yeah, I've been, uh, so the music I make is all uh, improvised, and um, so it's called uh, jams, ambient jams. But uh, yeah, the interesting thing is uh, doing commentary like this doesn't feel that much different from doing improv. I mean, it is different, but because it's a spoken word. But uh, let's play videos and. Just gaming in general has a lot to do with improv, you know? So I thought, well, why not try my hand at doing something like this? And hopefully the gameplay you find inter interesting as well as the music, because, um... Uh, yeah, I, I try to do something interesting whenever I... Uh, uh, work on a project, so hoping this whatever I'm doing here. I mean, I really don't know what I'm doing, honestly. But uh, you know, hopefully we we'll get some interesting results because I don't see too many videos where you know people actively try to make like very dirty lines like this. And um, uh, most of it, it's just like, oh, copper is way over here, and iron is here, and, you know, everything's very clean. Um, and you need, like, a huge amount of resources, a huge amount of space to get accomplish anything, but... I'm trying to see how far I can take kind of this minimal approach. What can I do while I'm waiting around? If I was playing by myself, this would be a nice, you know, it's a nice time to take a break. But. What's after chemical processing? Silicon processing, and then we need. Advanced electronics. Two, st still two steps away. Uh, 
silicone press. Oh my god. Not really looking forward to finding out what it's going to take. Still can't make it yet, but I can look it up. Uh, transistors, circuit board. What's a phenolic board? Jesus. Ferric chloride. Oh man. Okay, wood and resin. These are the same. Plastic bar, silicon wafer. Okay, so we need need freaking everything. Jesus Christ. Okay, so um, I don't know what the silicon wafer thing is, so I should probably get started on that. Huh. Okay, so iron ore and hydrogen chloride. How do you get hydrogen chloride? Chlorine and ox hydrogen. Where do you get those? And you think you're so close to just so many things. Uh, okay, so salt and water, where the hell, where do you get salt? Okay, just water. Uh, so I need to create kind of a chain of things up there. See, we're gonna run out of room already, jeez. Uh, okay, so I need a chemical-ish chemic. It's one of these things. Okay, good stuff for now. I don't know why I was trying to rush it. It's like there's no way I'm gonna figure it out before the uh, research is done. Here you go. Okay, so what? I need to make salt, just water. Yeah, that's not... Oh, do I need... I guess I need coal too. Huh? I mean, technically it doesn't matter because everything is a circle, so... Alright, well, let's see what we can do. We'll just start here.
could actually use a burner inserter for that. I really like these, uh... <laughs> Cause like the... As long as there's coal, it's pretty much self-sufficient. Whoa, it... Seeds? Oh, you can use it as fuel. Weird. But this is a bug as well, I think. You can't. It's like it's picking it up and it's trying to fuel itself. Using the wood too, it's just using whatever. Yeah. Very interesting. Oh, I have too many seeds anyway, but it will just pick up whatever it needs, okay. Stable, we don't never know what it's gonna. Oh, whatever. Okay, salt leads to what? I have to make a plate first. Oh, okay, so you finally need the calcium chloride. <laughs> what? Oh my god, what the. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I don't remember what I need this up for. So maybe it wasn't transistors, but the. circuit parts. Electrolysis. So we need that to make these gases.
I should have been up there, but... Okay, so we have this for something. Oh wait, do I ever need hydrogen by itself? I mean, when I, I don't know, probably. But that's not an issue, we can... right now. <laughs> See, we're already running out of room. <laughs> uh,
I'll just make everything and like put it together later. Calcium chloride? There's a byproduct of this thing. high enough. Before I call it quits, uh, I want to make one more thing, magic, whatever this thing leads to. So, ferric chloride. And what does it need also? Iron ore, that's easy. is even ferric what is even <laughs> uh what is ferric chlorine i don't know it's never really good at chemistry all right there's this thing here which i have no idea what it it's a byproduct Uh, let's just see what it is. 
sodium hydroxide. Sounds familiar. Uh, maybe we'll just start on the belt for now. I mean, on the in a chest for now until we know what it actually does. Now I should go again. Yeah, see, like here, um, things about gases and liquids is that they don't. They stop unless everything's been used. Hydrogen twice as fast as oxygen. No. Chlorine. Some issues here. Heard the copper plates, these pipes are better for gases or something. I'll see. Oh, I have so much junk now, and it's gonna have so much crap in my inventory. Because the size is smaller. Oh no, wait. No, these are better for heavy liquids or something. I don't know. I don't know, I'm not gonna check up. Ugh. Uh. Now we have a thing for something, and then we're going to make more things with the thing. We need this thing for that thing. <laughs> mm. I'd like to make resin and all that stuff locally. See, we're out of room already, what the hell. So, I guess we'll just go up, up more. Need more belt, which I think we should have. how long the space was before. Yeah, these dumpsters are pretty nice.
good place to stop, I guess. I don't run out of pill, it's pretty long. Probably expand first before I cut the line and then connect it. Oh, I'm out. That make more sense. back in. Alright, I forgot what I was doing again. Uh, right, phenolic board, which we need, um, wood and resin for. So we'll make both of those things locally. One of those thing things things. I should just make a chest pulling off this side too. Just have two chests like that. This would be our dumpster dive party thing. Let me turn off this one. So much carbon. So yeah, if you have an excess of stuff, then good thing to do is just dump it all in this thing. And it will stop producing any carbon on the OG stuff. Yeah. Stone or can really use or anything. Oh, it's completely full, jeez. So too. It's gonna do something here. Uh, needed the ferric. Oh yeah, board. Can this thing craft actually? Okay, they can make circuit boards. Can make also the regular board as well. Maybe I should use those instead. 
after that. This will make the phonetic board. Can this make resin? Nope. I need that first. I'm gonna use the cheap ones. Huh, oh, it's two different ways. of basic circuits. Mm. I feel like I'm going to get stuck using these things because there's only... Uh, the problem with it is that you can't Use three inserters on the belt. Okay. Huh. Any regular wood? I need wood. Wood board. So I need this and this. Maybe we should just put resin on the belt then. Probably have to regulate the resin thing later too, but for now. Okay, so we need a ferric chloride solution to come up here somehow. Maybe I should have just made it here then. There's a lot of uh, empty silence in this game, probably noticed. Uh, yeah, some people don't like it, but I think it's kind of nice to give some space, you know, between the music and such. Oh, it's playing the same song again. I guess it's random. Uh, the lake board 
What's this? The wooden board? I wish they would keep it in the same place. Uh, I thought this needed a fair. Oh no, the. Okay, this should be the circuit board. from the belt now. circuit things. F less than 501. Oh, this should be 500. not picking it up. Oh wait, I'm not even... I didn't even have it set, no wonder. Where is it? So it's at 500 if it's less than 501. Right before I just didn't set it correctly. Okay, that should stop the overflow. Uh, okay. It's realistic. Like, make wood to make wooden boards, and then you get from the wall, raw wood, you make boards, and then from the boards, you make. I guess you make raw wood, you make wood into wood from raw wood, and then wood into wooden boards, boards into these uh, other boards. It's 
wrong. Oh, it doesn't need this thing. Oh, that's strange. This makes it directly from the... Okay, finally got. And then you make these. You need the circuit board, transistors. Hydrogen chloride. They so finally need stone. Okay, well, uh, that's way too complicated, so I think I'm gonna take a break here and maybe work on it some more in my spare time. But thanks for watching and hope to see you next time. Bye bye.